finally Starfield is out and for the first video it's gonna be with the 4090 and we're starting it off at 440p at the max settings. I've disabled VSync, the upscaling for FSR 2.0, motion blur, but I'm keeping the VRS enabled. So far so good. 120 FPS, GPS fully maxed out, VRM is at 4 gigs, system RAM is at 14 gigs as well. Now after this video goes live, I will start on the Steam Deck video, which should be out in a couple of hours after this one goes up. And then we'll have the 3080 and all the other cards after that as well. The FPS is slowly falling down, now sitting in the high 90s. Nice graphics so far, looks very sharp and very clear. It doesn't look super next gen, but at the same time, it doesn't really have to. The game is so massive already that losing extra performance over extra quality, probably not worth it. Ooh, what is this? A cutter. Can I take this? Thank you. Cool. Alright, where am I cutting though? Just anywhere? Alright, cool. It feels like No Man's Sky. Two more to go. Done. Alright, let's head back out. Ooh, it's finished. That shadow's bugging out there. Did you guys see that? His head was like stroking up and down. So far so good though guys. It's indoors so it's not really fair but we haven't had any stutters, any lag spikes. The game has ran really nicely. But I do want to see how this runs outside. And I think the main issue will be in the city areas with all the NPCs and all that running around. That will make our FPS fall quite a bit. Just got a feeling about it. Are you guys going to come or do I just... Okay, I'm leaving you guys. I don't care. Slowpokes over here dude. 78 FPS now. Once we get past the character creation. That's a massive FPS dip. From the 130s to now in the 70s and 80s. At 440p as well. 4k guys, we're falling below 60. <laughs> that is insane. Here we go. Finally outside. Look at that. Wow. This looks good. Everyone's is doing pretty good as well, sitting at 5.7 gigs. It hasn't climbed by much. There we go. Let's fight, let's go. Finally got some action here. What is he doing? This guy's a psycho. He charges in just to kill me. What have I done? I like the shooting guys, the shooting feels good. Let's loot him, what does he have on him? Get the ammo. Ow, 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 who's shooting at me? Stop! You kill him, guys, what are you guys doing? Ooh. Oh, this thing does no damage. Four damage a hit? I guess it's full auto. Oh, it shoots quick. What, what are you doing, buddy? Kill the enemy to your left. Shoot him. There you go. Boom. Not too bad guys, this entire time. I haven't had a single stutter, not a single lag spot. The FPS is kind of low for 49 but it's the max settings. So I guess it can be forgiven a little bit. And you also have FSR as well to get some FPS back if you really need it. Alright, I'm playing the game at 4K with the same settings. Let's jump back right into it. Now I think at 4K, we're going to fall below 60 into the 50s and 40s. And FSR should bring us back up into the 70s and 80s just fine. Look at that, we're sitting in the 60s inside the ship. Which is a very small indoor area. Looks gorgeous though. Look at that, 50 FPS already. VRAM is now up at 7.5 gigs as well. So that's a decent increase. Let's take off. This is sick. Alright, I guess you can't fly your own ship. Alright, we're in space. Pretty sick. FPS is far better as well, obviously, in space. It's not super intensive. Whoa! Get out of here. I've got it, don't worry. I'm already on the case. The aiming is really nice and easy. Come on. Almost dead. Boom! Let's go steal the loot. More attackers, let's go. There we go. Let's get that loot. Alright, there we go. We're finally landing on a moon, I think. Wow, okay. We are sitting in the 70s anyway. I think we had like 80 FPS or 70 FPS. Bring up the scanner, okay. 
What are we scanning here? What's that sound? Okay, that's my robot. Boom. 90 FPS indoors. It's getting better, actually, over time. That intro level must have been a lot more intensive than this section here. Because we fell into the 50s, the low 50s, and once we left that intro section. But after that, we're sitting in the 70s and 80s, and now up into the 90s and even 100s. Not too bad. Got some enemies here. Here we go. Okay, I need... Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I... I gotta melee this guy because I'm out of ammo. A rescue axe? Okay, can I change my gun first, please? Give me a second. There we go. I'm right, using FSR now at an 80% resolution scale. We are sitting in the 90s and 100s. The game looks gorgeous still. Can't see any blurriness. Jagged edges at all. Looks amazing. What's up, boys? Whoa. Give me your loot. Okay, chill, chill. Who's shooting at us? Oh, no, that's not good. That is not good. Heal up. What are you hiding for? Alright, give me that. I'm running low on ammo, which is never a good thing. Done. Ooh, what is this thing? New pistol. Oh, yeah, this thing's better. Oh, yeah. Way better. Get some healing off this thing over here. Let's save the game before anything goes wrong. The fighting is really satisfying. Each gun has a different feel. Has different recoil patterns. Nice sound effects to them as well. Like it overall. Hello. Okay, let's just come on. Reload the gun faster, please. Let's get through this section and then we can end the video there. Whoa, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. What do you have on you? Tissues. That's one. And then we gotta put... That can't fit, right? We gotta go like this, I think. This third one. Yeah, there we go. Boom! Now we gotta find... Um... Over here. Okay. And then these last two. Boom. It's unlocked. What do we get? Credits? Med pack. Awesome. That was fun. Alright, I think that's about it. That's Starfield with the RTX 4090. We ran well for the most part. The game looked great as well. But the real test starts now. Steam Deck coming up next. See you guys there.